Welcome to Dylan Mushroom TV channel. Today I am going to show you simple tips for novice milky mushroom growers. I will discuss about process, nutritional value, health benefits and market demands of milky mushrooms. So watch the video until the end. Milky mushroom, Calicybe indica, is a species of edible mushroom that is popular in Asian cuisine. It is also known by other names such as Indian mushroom, patty straw mushroom, and milky white mushroom. Milky mushrooms are characterized by their large, fleshy, whiter cream-colored caps that can grow up to 20 centimeters in diameter. They have a mild and nutty flavor, and their texture is meaty and chewy. They are rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals, and are low in fat and calories. Milky mushrooms are typically cultivated on patty straw or sawdust, and are usually available fresh or canned. They can be used in a variety of dishes, including stir-fries, soups, curries, and salads. They are also used in traditional medicine for their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Overall, milky mushrooms are a nutritious and delicious ingredient that can add flavor and texture to a wide range of dishes. Casing is an important step in the cultivation of some mushroom species, as it provides a layer of nutritious substrate on top of the initial substrate layer. This casing layer can enhance the yield, texture, and appearance of the mushrooms, and may also provide some protection against contamination. Casing serves several purposes in mushroom cultivation. Provides a reservoir of moisture. The casing layer can hold moisture and gradually release it to the underlying substrate, which is important for maintaining optimal humidity levels for fruiting. Stimulates fruiting. The casing layer can create a microclimate that stimulates fruiting by creating a more humid environment and a layer of fresh nutrients for the mushrooms to grow into. Protects against contamination. The casing layer can help protect against bacterial and fungal contamination by creating a physical barrier and providing a layer of nutrients that encourages beneficial microorganisms to grow. However, not all mushroom species require casing, and some growers choose to skip this step altogether. Some species, such as oyster mushrooms, do not require casing and can fruit directly from the substrate. Ultimately, the decision to use casing will depend on the specific mushroom species you're growing and your personal growing preferences. Some general guidance on how to make a good casing for milky mushrooms. Prepare the casing material. The casing material is typically a peat moss and vermiculite mixture that is sterilized before use. You can also add lime to the casing material to raise the pH to around 7.0, which is ideal for milky mushrooms. Layer the casing material. Once the casing material is ready, layer it one inch thick on top of the mushroom substrate. To achieve a smooth surface, ensure that the casing material is distributed evenly. Water the casing. After layering the casing material, thoroughly water it to a depth of about one inch. The casing material should be moist but not dripping wet. To avoid disturbing the surface, use a spray bottle. Incubate the casing. After watering the casing, cover the mushroom container with a lid or plastic wrap to keep the humidity high. Incubate the container for 10 to 14 days at a temperature of 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, or until the mycelium has colonized the casing material. Maintain humidity. Once the mycelium has colonized the casing material, Remove the lid or plastic wrap and mist the surface on a regular basis to maintain high humidity levels of around 90%. This prevents the casing from drying out and cracking. Induce fruiting. After a few days, small pinheads should appear on the casing surface. Continue to mist the surface and keep the humidity high until the mushrooms are mature. Keep in mind that milky mushrooms require specific growing conditions such as high humidity, a consistent temperature, and adequate ventilation. With proper care, you can harvest an abundance of delicious and nutritious milky mushrooms.
Milky mushrooms, Calicive indica, can be grown on a variety of substrates, but the most commonly used substrate is paddy straw. Here are some tips for preparing paddy straw substrate for a huge milky mushroom harvest. Select fresh and clean paddy straw. Choose paddy straw that is fresh and free of mold, insects, or other contaminants. Avoid using straw that has been exposed to pesticides or other chemicals. Cut the straw to the appropriate size. Cut the paddy straw into pieces that are about 3 to 4 inches in length. This allows for better air circulation and helps the mushroom spawn colonize the substrate more efficiently. Soak and sterilize the straw. Soak the paddy straw in water for 24 hours to hydrate it, then drain off the excess water. Next, sterilize the straw using a pressure cooker or autoclave. This kills off any bacteria or fungi that can compete with the mushroom spawn. Alternatively, you can pasteurize the straw by heating it to 60 T70 degrees Celsius for 1 to 2 hours. Inoculate the substrate. Once the straw has cooled down, mix in the mushroom spawn thoroughly. The spawn should be evenly distributed throughout the substrate. Incubate the substrate. Place the inoculated straw in a dark and humid environment with a temperature range of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The mushroom spawn will colonize the substrate over the next two to three weeks. Fruit the substrate. Once the substrate has been fully colonized, it's time to induce fruiting. You can do this by lowering the temperature and increasing the humidity in the growing area. Milky mushrooms typically fruit within 7 to 10 days after inducing fruiting. By following these tips, you can prepare a high-quality paddy straw substrate for growing milky mushrooms and achieve a huge harvest. Tips for those who are new to milky mushroom growing. Use a reliable and reputable spawn supplier. To ensure the success of your milky mushroom cultivation, it is essential to use quality spawn from a reliable and reputable supplier. Select the right growing medium. Milky mushrooms grow well on a variety of substrates, including paddy straw, wheat straw, sawdust, and cotton waste. Choose a substrate that is easily available in your area and suits your budget. Proper sterilization of the growing medium. Sterilization of the growing medium is necessary to kill off any harmful bacteria, fungi, or other microorganisms that can compete with your mushroom spawn. You can sterilize the substrate using a pressure cooker, autoclave, or pasteurization. Maintain optimal growing conditions. Milky mushrooms grow best at a temperature range of 20-30 degrees Celsius with high humidity, 80-90%. You can maintain optimal growing conditions by controlling temperature, humidity, light, and air exchange in the growing area. Practice good hygiene. To prevent contamination, it's important to maintain good hygiene in your growing area. Keep the area clean, wear gloves and a face mask, and sanitize your equipment and tools regularly. Harvest at the right time. Milky mushrooms grow quickly and you can harvest them when the caps are fully expanded and firm to the touch. Avoid waiting too long to harvest, as they can become too mature and develop a tough texture. Continuously learn and improve. Mushroom cultivation is a continuous learning process, so don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Join online forums or attend workshops to learn from other experienced growers. These tips should help you get started with milky mushroom cultivation. Here are some tips for making an inexpensive growing area for mushrooms. Utilize existing space. Look for existing spaces in your home or property that can be converted into a mushroom growing area. For example, a spare room, a basement, or a garage can be suitable spaces. Build your own growing racks or shelves. You can build your own growing racks or shelves using inexpensive materials such as PVC pipes, wooden planks, and wire mesh. These can be used to stack your mushroom growing containers vertically, maximizing the use of your growing area. Use natural light. 
if possible, use natural light to save on energy costs. Position your growing area in a location that gets plenty of indirect sunlight or use artificial lights that are energy efficient. Recycle containers. You can recycle containers such as plastic bags, plastic containers, or even use coffee grounds jars as growing containers. This reduces the cost of buying new containers. Use a DIY humidifier. Mushrooms require high humidity levels to grow, and you can create your own humidifier using a plastic container, a sponge, and water. Cut a hole in the lid of the container, insert the sponge, and pour water into the container. The sponge will absorb the water and release it slowly into the air, creating a humid environment for your mushrooms. Compost your waste. You can compost your mushroom waste, including spent substrate and mushroom stems, to create nutrient-rich compost for your garden. This reduces the amount of waste you produce and provides a free source of fertilizer. By utilizing these tips, you can create an inexpensive mushroom growing area that is both efficient and effective. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, you can also share this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of our next videos. See you in our next video.